Hello, Jessica Frost Palace here with a video for Lawn Fawn. Today I'm creating an interactive platform pop-up card using the adorable new mice from Just Plain Awesome. So let's get started. First, I stamp the images from Just Plain Awesome onto white cardstock with VersaFine and heat emboss them with clear embossing powder before coloring them with Copic markers. I'm using my favorite Copic combo for the fur of my mice. I start by coloring them with E70. I go back and add a few dark shadows with E77. Then I blend those shadows out with E74 and E71 before going back over the image with E70. For the mouse's belly, I add a little shading with E70 and then blend it out with E40 in my colorless blender. Finally, I use R000 and R01 for his ears and nose. I use the same color combo on all of my mice to get that warm, rich gray-brown color. Then I use a bright rainbow of colors for my paper airplanes and use three Copic markers for each color family. Once I finish coloring, I die cut the images with the coordinating die cuts. Next, it's time to work on the interactive platform pop-up. I die cut pieces from the platform pop-up die, the platform pop-up cloud wraparound, and the platform pop-up cloud inserts with white cardstock. From the platform pop-up set, I die cut the large panels and the T-shaped pieces twice. I die cut the cloud wraparound twice from the wraparound add-on set, and I die cut the cloud insert once and the smaller cloud piece twice from the cloud insert add-on. To start, I take one of the cloud wraparound pieces and fold along each of the scored edges. I use my bone folder to get a sharp crease on the folds. The die embosses the score lines into the cardstock so it's easy to see where to fold. I repeat this folding and creasing for the other cloud wraparound, both platform pieces and the T-shaped pieces. Next, it's time to assemble my first platform piece. I take the large platform pop-up panel and turn it so that the rounded part is at the bottom and all the folds are kind of folding inwards towards the center. I slide the long part of the T-shaped piece through the slit in the large panel from the bottom. 
Then I fold the large panel along the second score line. You can see how the T-shaped piece kind of moves with the panel and folds flat. Make sure the top of the T butts up against the slit in the large panel. I add a little bit of score tape to the tip of the T-shaped piece facing down. Then I add score tape to the end of the large panel that's currently folded over. Keep the tape within the score lines. Next I remove the adhesive backing from the T-shaped piece and fold it down to adhere it to the large panel. Keep the large panel folded along the score line to make sure the T-shaped piece is adhered in the correct location. Then I fold the large panel along the next score line until it forms a three-dimensional shape. At this point you can kind of see where the next bit of adhesive will adhere. Remove the adhesive backing and then fold the panel along the score line again, adhering the edge of the large panel close to the scalloped edge. When you fold up the panel it will pull up into a three-dimensional structure. This is half of your platform pop-up. Repeat the process for the second large panel. I sped this part up a little bit, but I'm following the same instructions for this piece. Now you can see how the platform pop-up will come together. Next it's time to work on more of the design. I blend the edges of the cloud wraparound with tumbled glass and Mermaid Lagoon Distress Oxide ink using a blending brush. I use a light hand so that the color doesn't get too dark or saturated. Once I finish blending the cloud wrap pieces, I spray them with shimmer spray and let them dry. While they're drying, I blend the same two Distress Oxide inks onto the other cloud pieces. Originally, I die cut a few clouds from the spring shower set that you'll see, but I don't end up using them in the final design. Now it's time to start assembling everything. I add score tape to the little flap on the right side of one of my platform pop-up pieces. I remove the adhesive backing and carefully adhere it to the left side of the second platform pop-up piece. Before I seal up the platform pop-up, I add the cloud insert. I add adhesive to the insert and to the inside of the platform pop-up. I remove the adhesive backing and adhere the insert to the other inside panel keeping the stitch line of the bottom cloud right above the platform pop-up panel. Then I remove the adhesive backing from the other side of the platform and carefully seal it together. I add adhesive to the last flap of the platform pop-up panel and seal the edges together. Next, I add a little score tape to the bottom of each tiny cloud piece. I adhere those to the top of the T-shaped pieces that you can see on the top of the platform pop-up.
Then I add score tape to the small flap on one of my cloud wrap pieces and adhere it to the second piece. I also add score tape to the small flap on the second piece, but leave the adhesive backing in place for now. Then I add tape runner over the inside of both pieces of the cloud wrap. Using the platform pop-up as a guide, I carefully fold the cloud wrap around one corner of the platform pop-up and adhere the cloud wrap. When I get to the ends, I remove the adhesive backing from the flap and seal it together. The cloud wrap replaces the original scalloped wall of the platform pop-up with a more appropriate shape for my design. Off camera, I die cut the sun from spring showers with sticky note and gold glitter cardstock and adhere them together. I also stamp sentiments from Just Plain Awesome and Just Plain Awesome sentiment trails onto black cardstock and I heat emboss them with white embossing powder. I arrange my pieces on the platform pop-up and start adhering them using my tape runner and liquid adhesive. Finally, I take a small strip of acetate and adhere it to the back cloud piece of the platform panel. Then I adhere one of the airplanes to the strip, which gives it the appearance of floating in the air. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the Lawn Fawn channel for even more crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, have a fantastic day, and happy crafting. Bye!